Hi, today we'll talk about isosceles right triangles. What we generally know about isosceles triangles is that they have two equal sides and two equal angles. Let's try to find them in this isosceles right triangle. We know that sum of all angles should be equal to 180 degrees, and we calculate that each angle equals to 45 degrees. Let's now try to find out the relation between uh, legs and the hypotenuse. Let's call the equal sides of a triangle as A and try to find out the hypotenuse of the triangle. We will use the Pythagorean theorem. And here we will have uh, A squared plus A squared equals to X squared. And through calculations, we will find out that x equals to a multiplied square root of 2. Also, we can rewrite it in a different way. If the hypotenuse would be b, then the each other side would be b divided by square root of 2. Let's have some practice now. Here, uh, we have 2 and 2 as the sides of the uh, triangle, and we need to find out hypotenuse, then the x will be equal to 2 multiplied square root of 2, or 2 square root of 2. Next, here we also have just one side of the right triangle. We know that this is also will be 45 degrees, and this side is also will be 4, and the hypotenuse would be 4 multiplied square root of 2. Okay, again, so here again, the degrees will be 45, and the hypotenuse would be 7 multiplied by square root of 2. And here we have hypotenuse, and we need to find out the other sides of the right triangle. This is also going to be 45 degrees, and each side would be 5 square root of 2 divided by square root of 2, and this will give us 5, and 5 here. Next, oh, similar, we have hypotenuse 8, and let's find out the angle, it would be 45 degrees, and each side would equal to 8 divided by square root of 2, or 8 multiplied by square root of 2 divided by 2. And it will give us 4 square root of 2 and 4 square root of 2. Thank you.